talking about the equilibrium of bodies in liquids just as we have as our topic for today's class now we discussed what equilibrium is in our previous lessons when we were discussing the equilibrium of forces okay and we said equilibrium is a state of stability a state in which all the forces acting on a body balances one another now to discuss or to adequately explain the equilibrium of bodies in liquid two principles will be looked into the first which is the archimedes principle and the principle of flotation or flotation principle these are the two major principles at least for our level that adequately explains the equilibrium of bodies in liquids. The Archimedes principle states that when a body is completely or partially immersed in a fluid, it experiences an upthrust, which is equal to the weight of the fluid displaced by the object. For instance, if you throw a ball into a basin of water, you realize that as soon as the ball enters the basin of water and makes contact with the surface of the water what happens it will splash an amount of water out of the basin is that okay and by Archimedes principle we're made to understand that when this body is completely or wholly or partially immersed in the liquid in this case water okay when it is wholly or partially immersed in this liquid it will experience an up trust. It will trust it upwards, which is equal to the weight of the object placed inside the bowl of water, okay, which is equal to the weight of the fluid in the bowl of water displaced by the object. So that is simply what the Archimedes principle states. While principle of flotation, on the other hand, states that an object will float when the up trust exerted upon it by the fluid is equal to the weight of the object so a body will definitely float when the up trust that is exerted upon the object by the fluid for instance if you put a a, a, a a ball a leather ball on the surface of the water what happens it floats right yes it floats because the up trust exerted on that object which is the ball is equal to the weight of the ball itself and that is why it can float for instance the chair you're sitting on the reason why you can balance on that chair is because your weight balances or is equal to the up trust mind the up trust is basically used in liquids okay so your weight is equal to the reaction that is caused or that is given by the surface of the object you're sitting on so that is why you can sit comfortably on that chair you are sitting on right now is that okay so like i said in our previous class i said everything in the universe is aiming towards stability is aiming towards the state of equilibrium and these are the two major principles you can use to illustrate the equilibrium of bodies in liquids let us see or consider some mathematical expressions which will help us to shed a broader light into the concept of what we have the first thing i'd like you to note is the concept of up trust the up trust of an object in a fluid has a mathematical expression of is equal to the weight of the object in air minus the weight of the object in the fluid. So mathematically, UF, which is the up trust of the object in the fluid, is equal to WA, which is the weight of object in air minus W. F. So this is how to calculate the obstructs of an object in a fluid. And mind you, you should know by now that fluid could actually be liquid or gas. But in this case, we are considering the equilibrium of bodies in liquids. Okay. So another thing 
according to the principle of flotation, the upthrust of an object in a fluid is equal to the weight of the displaced fluid is equal to the weight of the displaced fluid because we said that an object will only float when the upthrust exerted on the object by the fluid is equal to the weight of the fluid displaced. Is that okay? So if this is true, then we have that the upthrust will be equal to, remember weight is equal to mass times acceleration. Okay, from Newton's second law of motion. We were told that force equals ma. Am I correct? So if force equals ma, because we are dealing with weight, weight which is also a force, weight will be equal to m. But in this case, no more a, no more acceleration, but the acceleration due to gravity. So upthrust will be equal to m times g. Okay, so we can relate this formula here to the density. In terms of density, recall that the density of a particular substance is equal to the mass of that substance over the volume. Mass over volume. So to make mass a subject of formula, we have to cross multiply. Therefore, mass m is equal to density times volume. And uh, we can represent density using the symbol rho, okay, times V. Therefore, M is equal to rho V. And if we substitute this value inside this relation over here, what then will it give us? We now have that the uptrust to now be equal to rho V G, where rho V is equal to R mass okay so upthrust of an object in a fluid according to the principle of flotation will be equal to the product of the density times the volume and the acceleration due to gravity so this is the end of today's class on the equilibrium of bodies in liquids in our next class we are going to move a step further by considering the relative density of substances so see you in our next class.